Some 49, 49 minutes past the hour, 7 o'clock here at News Talk 730 KYYA. Sure, glad to have you along. Shooting for highs in the 60s. Magic City going to get a little windy this weekend. Ed McIntosh, our staff meteorologist, up here in a few minutes with the latest in uh, weather information. Scott Breen coming at you with a look at what's happening in local sports. Westwood One at 8 o'clock with a look at what's happening nationwide as ISIS is on the rampage. So we're going to be talking about that. That's all coming up. As the Morning Wake Up Report continues on our phone lines this morning, we have Phil Fusco. Good morning, sir. How are we doing? Hey, how are you, Scott? I am doing fantastic. Uh, of course, uh, you're out in the big metropolis of New York City. Uh, how's the weather over there? You, you guys this year have seemed to get all the bad weather, and us folks here in the state of Montana have been very blessed by nice, mild weather. So what are you guys doing wrong over there? I don't know. I think we did something really bad to the weatherman. <laughs> Clearly, we're getting the bad wrath. And yeah. We're just getting snow and cold and frigid. So we need to do something right. I know. I am a present. Well, you've been in the uh, fitness training world for, what, nine, ten years so far? Uh, yeah, a little bit more. About 11 years. And uh, you've done a real great job at it. Uh, you helped a lot of folks out there. And, of course, uh, this month is uh, National Heart Health Care Month. Try and it say is. that. Try and say, try and say that ten times, Phil, and I tell you. <laughs> That's wild. But also, it's a, a wear red day for the ladies out there, a day that uh, is kind of spotlighted on the ladies. And we thought we would have you on here because uh, you're, you're a powerful voice in, in uh, fitness and the nutritional world. So this this talk, you know, this skew into the ladies out there. And, of course, uh, heart disease is a number one killer out there for the ladies. So, oh, yeah. Horrible. Yeah. So how can a lady protect herself against that? There's a couple of uh, simple ways, Scott, to uh, prevent heart disease, especially for a woman. Um, this can apply to men, too, but this is mainly towards women. Every morning, try to get at least 20 minutes of um, cardio in. So if you go outside, jog for 10 to 15 minutes. If it's cold outside and windy, jog in place for like 20 to 25 minutes. That's going to get your heart moving in the day, and that's going to get your metabolism off to a good start. So uh, when a lady does this, you know, some sometimes, you know, the cholesterol deal and everything, that's kind of hereditary. But there are foods out there that that will help a person. I know veggies are probably at the top of that list, aren't they? Yeah, veggies uh, with some other numbered um, nutrients are really good for you. I would say one of the top is fatty fishes like salmon. And uh, so basically, you know, salmon and the whole, you know, like halibut to everything like that, that's probably a good deal too, right? Oh, absolutely. They're all uh, high in EPA and DHA, which are omega-3 fatty acids. And those compounds are known to reduce, um, reduce the cholesterol in your body. They're actually also good for your brain as well. And they're very powerful anti-inflammatory which are going to help you from getting or running into any heart disease in the future now, or you, cholesterol issues. You were saying something about garlic. Let's talk about that a little bit. <laughs> the Italian people's secret, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, garlic is fantastic. So uh, there's an antioxidant in garlic. That's what gives it its, like, pungent odor. Yeah. That's actually really good at... Uh, reducing blood clots and uh it, it lowers artery plaque and lowers cholesterol it's actually a very powerful anti natural antibiotic too so it can knock out viruses and bacteria infections in your body wow what kind of supplements should a lady take out there too uh two supplements i really recommend um first supplement is this will go with the fatty fish um yeah. it's omega-3 um, and evening primrose oil. You can buy that together in like one pill. And um, taking those together along with fish oil is going to reduce LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, and increase HDL, which is the good cholesterol. It's also, like I mentioned before, going to very. It's going to fight inflammation. It's a very strong anti-inflammatory. So, Another good um, um, vitamin that I recommend. It's uh, actually a naturally occurring chemical that happens in your body. It's called coenzyme Q10. 
I have heard about that one. And uh, so what does that do for a, a lady out there for heart health? Um, coenzyme Q10 is it's pretty much like an energy boost for the cellular systems in your body. It's going to give your body cells energy, including the cells in your heart, which actually can prevent you and protect you from having heart failure um, sometime in the future because it's just going to strengthen your heart so it doesn't want to shut down. Well, uh, Phil is going to start doing some online training with me. And, uh, okay, I'm going to tell you something here, Phil, uh, about talking about sure. cholesterol here, okay? I, I'm going to I'm gonna cop this big plea right now, okay? okay. About, about a year ago, I think my cholesterol was like a 278, something like that. Which is, I don't think that, I don't think that's good for some unknown reason, but uh, anyhow. But I, I got it down now to about 200. That, that's good, good for you. Yeah, so hopefully you can help me out with this a little bit. I can definitely help you out a little bit. You know, 200 is not a bad number, but we can go lower to about 150. Okay. So uh, this talk a little bit about your website out there. Uh, you know, I go up there, you do a lot of blogging, uh, you give some great tips out there. Uh, let's talk a little bit about